Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Crobb and the title of my project is Spatial Variability of Plant Injury in Response from Ligus Linealaris Feeding in Mid-South Cotton. My mentors were Dr. Nallen and Dr. Teague. The large insect that I've circled is the Ligus Linealaris or tarnished plant bug and this will be the center of the talk today. There are three main concepts for this project. First, transgenic cotton seeds are very costly, so we want to figure out how to lower these seeding rates to increase farm profit. Secondly, tarnished plant bugs, or ligus, are key pests in Mid-South cotton. And third, the edge of field landscape features provide overwintering habitats and early spring hosts for ligus. So the third bullet point um, I will explain if you follow my pointer. So this is the research field located in Manila, Arkansas. The wooded field edge are where the ligus overwinter. In the spring, they move into the crop field edge, which has early spring hosts. So they have different weeds that the ligus will feed on. And then when the cotton forms uh, floral buds, which is this that I've um, put a square around, the ligus will begin feeding on these buds. When the ligus feed on the buds, it causes them to be damaged and fall off. So the square will not develop into a cotton bowl, so this can reduce yield. For this study, we had three different treatments. We had cover crop treatments, seeding rate treatments at one and a half seed per foot of row, which is low, three seed per foot of row, which is standard, and four and a half seed per foot of row, which is very high. We also had ligus insecticide protection treatments, either full season or post flower. The full season only received one additional treatment than the post flower at 42 days after planting. The tables show the number of ligus that we found that was sampled with either a sweep net or a drop cloth. We had low numbers of ligus throughout the whole season. We did have a significant difference between full season and post flower at 50 days after planting with more ligus found in post flower, but still very low. We used the Cotman system to tell us the square shed of first position main stem sympodia. The square shed are these damaged floral buds from ligus feeding. I'll introduce you to the graphs. We have days after planting on the x-axis and mean square shed percent on the y-axis. We have our three different seeding rates. One and a half is gray, three is pink, and four and a half is red. So the highest square sheds were found closest to the crop field edge with three seed per foot of row and four and a half seed per foot of row and very low square shed at one and a half seed per foot of row. As we move farther away from the crop field edge, we have less square shed overall. And we also have the highest square shed being with three and four and a half seed per foot of row. And that's also similar to this last graph. Our results showed that plant monitoring with the Cotman system provided a better assessment of ligus activity compared to the direct insect counts, which were very low. We found that the ligus were attracted to the plants closest to the crop field edge and with the highest seeding rates. The pre-flower application reduced ligus in the full season treatment compared to the post-flower treatment. And looking at yield, we had significant differences between ligus protection and soil texture. If you follow my pointer to the picture, the loamy sand plants are more vigorous than the core sand plants because they are stressed. So that first insecticide treatment helped the core sand plants and prevented any yield loss, significant yield loss, compared to the plants in the core sand that did not receive that insecticide treatment and had lower yield.
Our results suggest potential pest management opportunities using a trap crop approach for Ligus by employing variable seeding rates and site-specific insecticide applications. I would like to thank Arkansas State University, University of Arkansas Research and Extension, Wildy Family Farms, and Cotton Incorporated for funding this project.